Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Options Trader today. So today in this video I will explain you how the price of gold has moved in the last week and how the price of gold can move in the next week. As I have already explained you that there is two pattern forming. Okay and this pattern you have to understand that these two patterns are being similar and creating the same pattern. So probability is very high. You can see there is a, if you have seen the news and that the and the data that China is accumulating the gold okay and if you look at this continuous three months the price of gold is in the green okay and if you look at few months also there is high chances that we can see it can go further upside as i've already explained you that chances are occurring that we can see it can move further upside okay so probability of going further high is on a high side so now what you can see looking at this particular pattern a pattern is created from 2012 to 2020 and this pattern is from 2020 to 2022 okay and these two patterns are saying forming similar but this is 10 years you 8 years you can say and this is 2 years but they are same see a u pattern is forming a u pattern uh, then a certain down and a certain fall after that there is continuous rise this is the pattern which is remaining here so chances are high that if the price sustain above this particular zone okay and it is already above that particular level of 1878 chances of going further upside is on a higher side and once it sustain above this particular level chances are very high we can see it can go cross this particular zone and a probability is high it can cross a level of 1900 and a probability of going further upside is on a higher side okay before we move forward and explain you where the price of uh, gold can move in the next week if you have any doubt mail me at stockmarkettradinglive at gmail.com and one more mail id in the description Please watch the full video so you understand how this technical work and a telegram link I've given in the description. You can join that too. Okay, look at this particular support, which is a weak support, a level of 1613. Okay, this level is is a weak support. So chances are high if the price comes close to this level, we can see it can fall further low. Otherwise, it is continuously moving upside. Okay, suppose if the price sustain this particular level, which is on a higher side, yes, because there is a continuous upside we have seen and this upside has come from the third week of october and it is continuously moving high okay so chances are very high we can see it this level sustain we can see it can cross that particular zone and can touch a level of around 1902 dollars okay and once the price sustain of this particular level we can see it can cross that particular level and a probability of going towards 1914 is there okay and once it sustain above 1914 then we can see a pattern will form and a probability of going further upside is there then we can see it can cross this particular zone and chances of touching 1931 dollars is there and once it sustain 1931 dollars then we can see it can cross this particular level and a probability of going towards a level of 1934 is there okay and once it sustain 1934 dollars then we can see it can cross that particular level and a probability of going towards 1955 is there okay so you have to understand once it crosses a level of 1931 then it can touch a level of 1934 to a level of 1955 and then further upside because because the trend is will be on the higher side okay once the price move up that particular level i'll make another video explaining you where it can move okay but you can see that the trend is moving upside but it is quite volatile okay you can see that it is forming green candle as well as red candles in between them okay so it is volatile okay overall trend is upside but if it form a swing at this particular level or any resistance hit this particular level it can bounce back and again this particular support can make it to move it upside but suppose if the price didn't sustain this level we can see the next support coming at around 1877.82 dollars okay and once the price fall below that particular level it can touch a level of around 1870 dollars okay once it fall below that particular level we can see it can touch a level of around 1851 dollars okay and from there we can see it can fall further low towards a level of around 1835 dollars keep that in mind once the price fall below 1851 we can see a level of 1835 dollars and from there we can see it can fall further low towards a level of 1824 again i repeat if the price didn't sustain 1884 dollars we can see it can touch a level of around 1877 dollars once the price fall below this level we can see it can touch a level of 1870 okay and from there we can see it can move towards a level of 1865 okay and once the price fall below 1865 then we can see it can touch a level of around 1853 dollars and once it fall below 1853 dollars we can see it can go towards a level of 1848 dollars to a level of 1836 okay and once the price fall below 1836 once the price fall below 1836 we can see it can come and touch a level of 1818 and from there we can see it can touch a level of around 18 $10. So you have to keep that in mind. Once it comes 
at this particular level because this is there is a trend line forming if you look at this trend line so once this break this particular trend line we can see a sharp fall can come towards its next strong support of 1807 dollars so once the price fall below this level we can see it can come again to a zone in 1801 and then further low if the price then sustain this level okay now what most people do was most people would trading that they lose money okay why they lose money because few things that they don't follow what i teach in mocks i'll tell you here suppose if you are trading with ten thousand dollars try to trade with 10 to 15 percent of capital per trade okay a risk of 0 0.5 to 1 percent that is 50 to 100 dollars now suppose if you took thousand to 1500 okay that is 10 to 15 percent of this capital and a risk of 0 0.5 to 1 percent that is 50 to 100 dollars okay now if you look at this particular trend if you took five trades that is 100 per trade okay so now this 100 per trade is a maximum risk of 500 dollars okay suppose if you lose all five trades maximum loss is 500 dollars now what you can do is you can relax for the day what people do they lose so much money in recovering so 5000 3000 then they in the process of recovering they lose their full capital that is 10, 10k what is whatever your cap their main capital is and then they lose their full capital they don't understand certain rules what i teach in workshop how to overcome all these things if you want to attend that workshop mail me regarding that and we can work out on the timing so hope you like the video and if you like the video please give a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please subscribe it thank you